Good afternoon. It's Thursday, January 27th, 2011, and I'm Eric Shiner with Right Now on CNSNews.com. All right, I know what you're saying. Something doesn't quite look right. The winter weather kept me from making it to the studio, but it's really not my lips you should be watching. Representative Alan West believes you should be watching the lips of the president. Cutting the deficit by gutting our investments in innovation and education is like lightning and overloaded airplane by removing its engine. When you talk about the efficiencies in government reform, you've got a public sector that's outpacing the private sector in compensation and growth period. And when I hear the president start talking about investment, I hope that that is not a synonym for uh, government spending, because if that is the case, then we're not for it. Is investment a synonym for spending? Find out more of what Representative West had to say by clicking on Nick Ballacy's story. The Obama administration's waivers to exempt certain companies, unions, and charities from rules that were established by the new health care law is something that should be investigated, according to Senator Charles Grassley. Yes, and it will be, and it will be done in the House of Representatives, and I'll be glad to help the representatives. We probably won't get chairman of the committees of the Senate to have that oversight, but if it's done in the House of Representatives, the job will be done, it'll be done right, and you're going to find out that, that by the president doing that through the secretary of HHS, he violated one of his main principles when he ran for office, and that was that the special interests were not going to have an in in his administration. Find out what else Senator Chuck Grassley had to say by clicking on Fred Lucas's story. And the Congressional Budget Office is reporting that Social Security will effectively run a $45 billion deficit in 2011 and continue to run deficits totaling $547 billion over the coming decade. This means in order to pay benefits, Social Security will need $45 billion more than it will collect in payroll taxes this year. Click on Matt Cover's story for all the dollars and cents. And let us help you make sense of the news of the day right now on cnsnews.com.